when you're doing this eye splice, we're, uh, we formed roughly the, uh, the size that we like. You'll lay up the, the, uh, the splicing side against where you want to splice it to. And what you'll find is that uh, with your three strands, one is going to tend to sit on top of things. The other is going to tend to sit um, below things. And you're going to have one that just uh, sort of naturally falls right up against the rope that you're trying to splice to. And what we're going to do is find, uh, you know, say we're, we're wanting to splice right to here. We'll take a strand that's right up, that, that lays right up alongside uh, this unlaid portion. And that's where we'll start. So I'll split that up. We'll take this guy going against the lay. We're going to go through and out the other side. And we're, we'll actually do this a second time. So we've gone through once. We're, we'll go over the next one and put through again. So we've, we've got two going there. Okay. And the underneath one where the first one comes up, the underneath guy goes down. And for the last one, where the underneath guy comes up, the last one goes through. I'll just uh, work them up. And what we should wind up with is the beginnings of our eye splice. So from here you'll see that each of these strands comes up, um, you know, each one is right next to, to the other one, they're all nicely lined up. From here we'll, we'll continue um, just following the pattern. Just pick any one of them, doesn't matter which one, and uh, you'll see it's coming up and we've got a, a strand here. Basically you're going to go over top of the strand and through, it and, and through the next one. And just repeat that. So as you go around, as one comes up, that's where you go down with the next one. Always coming over top. And the last one where this guy here is, come up, is coming up, we're coming over top here and disappearing down into where the previous guy came up. And just work them out nice and evenly. You don't have to be too meticulous here about getting them even. So that's the beginnings of it. So we've got two, two tucks. Uh, each, time, uh, each time you go through, that's called a tuck. So we've got, uh, each strand has gone through twice now. So we've got two tucks uh, laid in there. With, uh, with this sort of rope, three is an absolute bare minimum if you really don't care too much about uh, the splice lasting indefinitely and taking great, greater loads. Five is really the, the, the minimum required for safety. And if it's something like uh, a dock line that's holding your boat, um, something that you're... Um, uh, hoisting something aloft with, or maybe you're splicing an anchor cable, like something that has some value that you want to make sure that this does not come undone, uh, you'll want to put seven tucks in. So I'll just put a, a third one in. Just working it tight each time. Number four. You can see once you've started the, uh, once you've got it started, it's just a very simple pattern, and it really doesn't take much time at all to uh, to do the uh, the remaining tucks. Mm. 
And I'll do uh, do one more, and we'll we'll call it a day for this. Uh, to get these to, to sit nicely and, uh, and, and behave themselves uh, in light line like this it's fine just to give it a, a nice roll underhand and everything will uh, get seated nicely and, and uh, be nice and smooth with larger line it's uh, customary and uh, a good practice to actually uh, put it under your foot like put it on the ground, step on it and roll your foot back and forth over top of it and uh, that'll seat things in really nicely. Um, so to finish this, and there, there are a number of ways of, of doing it, um, some more decorative than others, but a, a very simple way of doing this is uh, to actually just leave these things the way they are for a day or two or a couple of days uh, until the rope has been used a little bit and has uh, you know, found its final uh, dimension, you know, if it may shrink a little bit or whatever. Um, just leave them a bit long for a day or two, and then trim them off. Just trim them, melt the edges, uh, melt the ends if it's a, a synthetic like this, and uh, that's, that can be good enough. Um, we can also finish them. We'll, we'll go on uh, later in a uh, um, section on, on finishing and uh, more decorative uh, terminations for this, on, on how to, to do whippings or uh, crown and wall knots. And, uh, and that kind of thing to really nicely finish these off. But for a basic ice place, well, that's good enough for now.